Large parts of eastern Styria are only sparsely populated. Until today, agriculture, as well as tourism, is the most important industry. Different kinds of fruit and wine are cultivated. Towards the east, the hills flatten out and the horizon comes back into view. Only a single prominent ridge rises up out of the hills, the perfect spot for a refuge fort. Riegersburg Castle is perched on a 200 meter high volcanic cone with sheer drops on three sides. It's not surprising that the mighty fortress could never be seized. The first written document mentioning the castle dates from 1138. Up until the 17th century, the building was extended several times. The Count of Purgstall wanted to make it the strongest fortress in Christendom. Since the end of the 1980s, the castle has housed a lodge for birds of prey. Johannes Zechner lives in the village at the foot of the castle hill. He spends his spare time with falcon, owls, vultures and eagles. My day up on the hill starts at around half past eight. First I get the feet ready, then the aviaries have to be cleaned. Then I weigh the birds. It's very important for them to have their ideal weight. The daily trip to the weighing scales is a set ritual. The weight of the birds is monitored to prevent the birds from being overfed or starved. Johannes is an assistant falconer at the castle. When he started out, he was only allowed to weigh the animals. Now he also trains them for the flying display. The birds already fascinated me as a child. I went up to the castle almost every other month with my family. Eventually I discovered that there were interns working here. When I was about six or seven years old, I told my mother, I'm at school now, so I can take a holiday job. I want to try it. The great thing is that they are all wild animals that you can't simply domesticize. They actually never listen to a command. It only works if you build up trust over time. And it's a great feeling when you've won the trust of a bird and that it finally keeps coming back to you. Handling birds of prey always requires a certain amount of courage. Each bird has its own unique character. Sending an eagle off and even just holding it takes a bit of getting used to it at first. It's an impressive animal and sending it off and watching it fly so gracefully is fascinating and simply great.
If he hits my fist from a nosedive, that's a particularly amazing feeling. It's quite an adrenaline rush. It's amazing. The simulation of a hunting situation is always the climax of every flying display, for the audience as well as for the bird trainer. The typical ascending air currents round Riegersburg Castle carry the eagle high up into the sky. Even at a height of several hundred meters, he never misses his prey. As soon as Johannes pulls a fake fox out of a hole in the ground, the bird's hunting instincts are activated. The bird lets itself drop to the ground like a stone. Without flapping its wings once, the eagle has reached its target. Few other animals make hunting look so graceful. A bird's eye view offers an unusual perspective of the landscape, of Styria and all the other points of the journey along the Alps. <laughs>